Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here today. We are venturing to the most difficult level in all of humanity. No, just crash. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this level sucks yo ass. That's referencing uh, Ronald the Man 123. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Okay. That was my father, um, my dad, just telling me I have to go to bed because, uh, like, in soon, because, yeah, we had late weekend and stuff like that. Anyway, quick, 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 quick. Okay, um, okay. So, ugh, okay, as I said in the other level, the key to this level is patience. Oh, cry. Okay. The key to the, the key of these levels are patience, yes. Now, <clears throat> we did well. Oh, and we get a cortex cycle for this level. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. I speak Italian. Oh, okay. That, that was a terrible Italian accent. That wasn't even, that, in fact, that wasn't even Italian. That was disgraceful. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yes, so you'd be very careful. Oh, oh, okay. Like it, now, I like the background there. How cool is that? In the background, oh, okay. What? I don't know what my dad's talking about. <laughs> my parents, they talk so loud. Like, you think they're like yelling and stuff, but they just generally talk loud. Except my mum kind of is a bit of too loud, she's kind of like, she typically got a very, I don't know, not a whiny voice, but just like, she needs to just, I'm not trying to sound like one of those puberty struck kids, but like, she needs to kind of uh, tone down her voice a bit, because sometimes it comes off as always being angry, but it's not, it's just the tone, it's just like an Italian tone, like always sounds like yelling, but it isn't, do you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, yes, psychoanalyzing my parents', parents speech. Right, yeah, and just as I say that, uh, I stopped recording because I'm, Dad was saying something, I was like, what the fuck, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, okay, anyway, oh, and we got this, oh my god, and that was not smart, okay. Now that actually makes you jump when you do that, so that's, what? Oh, that's interesting, what actually happens when you get invincibility, your, um, you know, because your <laughs> invincibility, your, the, your fake prototype version of invincibility actually disappears. That's interesting. Oh, now we don't want to fall here because you can really get stuck. Okay, yes. As I said, patience is, is a virtue, young Padmon. Oh, okay. Yes, and... Yeah. Let's do this. Stormy Ascent, not... Oh, well, once again, I, 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 I really can't, like, judge, like, say, oh, this is easy because, you know, once again, I have, you know, super cheats on, so, you know, what can I say? Um, well... Oh, and that was pretty lucky. Is that a second checkpoint? Not sure. Um, I'm looking forward to finishing this LP. As I said in the last, as I said in my incredibly angry, ranty last part, you know, I just am sick of this game. So I'm excited to be doing. Uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm starting getting. I'm sick of Crash One. I want, I want to do another Crash game, maybe CTR or something. Oh, now this is going down. This is the first time in this. Now, that, that's really weird. Okay. Let's get these. Woo, that was, this is so random when you're going down. Now this would be really hard without invincibility because you, you're meant to, not meant to hit those things otherwise you die. Shit, they kind of glitch you. Back to three lives, oh. Oh, oh no. Oh. Jump now. Now, oh. Okay. Let me, let me time that again. There we go. That was pretty, that was pretty lucky. Very, very lucky. Um. What else could I say about this level? You know, the background in this level is quite interesting. It, the thing is, the rain, because, you know, it is a PS1. Oh, crap. Okay. It is a PS1 game, so I understand, but the rain effects are very, like, it looks really funny. It looks kind of odd, but, you know, once again, I, oh, crap. Once again, you know, we can't complain. This is a PS1 game. This was, like, 1995, with this version, because of, you know, the whole beta thing. I think this was, I think this was, like, released, like, like, the actual disc was in 1995, I'm pretty sure. Um, and speaking of prototypes, there's actually like a Crash, uh, there's actually like a Spyro 1 prototype out there, but unfortunately, uh, uh, LX Shadow, who's the guy that like has a copy, um, isn't able to give the copy out. So d now, I'm just telling him, I'm just telling you, don't go to the guy going, oh, give me the prototype, because, you know, um, the guy, you know, it's not his fault, he can't give it out, he's not, like, allowed to give it out, you know. That's fair, I understand, completely understand, you know, so, you know, um, I'm sure the, the guy that had this prototype actually had access to it for 
quite a while, I think, but it, you know, it's actually quite risky to release, you know, beta versions. It's just like a full version. It's just like a game that you can sell, you know, so yeah, you got to be careful with that sort of like intellectual property stuff. But Naughty Dog, like Andy Gavin from Naughty Dog actually doesn't mind, so that's good because he's such a legendary bloke. Okay, and it's, the thing is, these levels are very repetitive, but look at another one, there we go. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. Oh, and is that third or fourth checkpoint? Not too sure, but I'm pretty sure we're getting towards the end. It is a very, very long level. I think it's the longest level in the whole Crash series, or at least in Crash 1. Um, and Crash... Crap, okay. And Crash 1 um, levels are generally quite long. Oh, okay. Yes. Now, yeah, oh, this is really confusing. Okay. Oh, okay. What I'm going to try and do is... What the hell? I don't know how that thing works, but... However it works, it works weird. Oh. Oh, that was so lucky. Yes, oh, my, oh that's it. This is it. This is the final platforming proper level in... Oh, yes. Oh, and we go to the final and only Cortex bonus round I've actually done this LP. If it won't freeze. Okay, here we go. This is it, guys. We're going to do it. It looks like it's very dark. Look at the crash. It looks very dark. Okay. Let's see it, what we can do here. Oh. Now. Okay. That's interesting. That reminds me of our dragon mines. Oh. And give me a code. Interesting. There's the code. There's the code that we can use. I'll remember that. At least I've got it saved now. If you ever want to get up to Stormy Ascent, because you actually need a code to get get past because you can't be Brio. Um, that's what we have to do. There we go. Let's finish this level off. Let's get the final boxes of this game. Oh my god. It is so relieving. No, we're going to be doing Cortex next. And there we go. That's it. We have scaled the castle walls. Over there is Cortex. Or, well, not really, but yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this level. I, hope, I think I did a decent job. Uh, better than usual. Um, and I'll see you in the next part when we head off to Cortex.